Hi, I'm Idwij Malembe from Blastbox. I'm here with Tom Kilby from, you guys may recognise him from Only Ways Essex. He's also a former fo footballer and now turned a designer. He's a very busy man. So Tom, thank you so much for meeting with Sorry us. Sorry to you too. <laughs> yeah. Finally, it's been a while. I know you're talking back and forth. Really, I know. Really. How's everything? How's life treating you? Life's good. I just launched my um, my line today. Yeah. So that's good at the moment. I've just uh, been working hard on that for the past we can see that. few months. Yes. Just getting everything in place because just trying to put something together, having an idea, then trying to make it into something. Just, yeah. It's not as easy as it sounds. I can imagine. It's hard. It People is hard. don't reckon, they don't realise how hard it is to get into inspiration, bring that inspiration into life. Yeah, exactly. So what inspired you to start this line? I've always, had, I've always uh, loved fashion. So I feel like just coming through the back of being on Towie and that, like yeah. I built, built a bit of a following and I thought that's the time that I can actually get my ideas out there. Yeah. It's so hard, I know, just like for students, like when I was at school, when I was at football, like you haven't got that much of a connection to get out there. Like you've got such an idea, but Trying to let people know about it is the hardest it's thing, the hardest, but yeah. just being persistent, yes. I think it just having like just believe in yourself, sort of inspired me just myself. Just to, so how was Taui for you? Taui was fun. Taui is an experience that I will never forget. But um, I wasn't on it for long because it, it got to a point where I don't know, it just it was turning into too, it was getting too intense. Really? Yeah, and it wasn't really because I'm not I'm not your typical Essex boy in that sense, like, and I was living in London yeah. and. Like with the whole issues with like being having a girlfriend on it and then having an ex-boyfriend on the show. Oh, drama! It's great, so much drama for me. So I sort of decided just to go separate ways from it. But I, I, something that I will always take to my grave is something I did tell my kids. Oh, wow. would you go back? I don't think I'd go back. No, I think back. one. I think if you go back, it's a bit like you know, it's a little bit desperate to think like, oh, you yeah. left, and people probably think, oh, you're not doing good enough elsewhere, so yeah. you have to come back to Tawi. I think like if you just. Have fun with it and then yeah. just take it. I just took a pinch of all. I didn't make like a lot of people think oh you make a lot of money from it and that's why you people don't. go in. I didn't I didn't make anything from it. Are you serious? No, I didn't make any money from it. Wow. But I guess it's good for exposure. Right? I, did it, I did it for a laugh. Like yeah. my sister was on it and my like my family wow. and all my friends, so You just you just taught us something there. I had no idea. Yeah. Anyways, we're here to talk about Med yes. London. Oh my god, the big deal. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm excited, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah, I've got all my friends on board, I've got like a lot of support from everyone. Good. So it's been good. It's been, like I said, working hard on it. Yes. Just like little things. Like I've never, I've never like done fashion in my life. I've always loved fashion, but I've never like known about. It. I haven't grown with a family. I haven't seen my mum or dad do it and yeah. learn the basics of it. But but even to the fact you need to get pattern cuts. Yeah. Like, you need to get measurements. Like yeah. these little things, then it, it accumulates a lot. Mm. I know you have to do it yourself. All of it, like because I believe like. You have to do it yourself to be able to get exactly what you want. Definitely. At the start, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're like, ever get someone else to do it, always, there's always some, there's always a problem. Yeah. That, but just be persistent with your idea. Are you happy with everything so far? I am happy, yeah. yeah. I've, I've made sure that I've been very hands-on with everything. Will you be moving forward to like footwear, socks, belts? Yeah, well, <laughs> jeans. I, think I just want to build up. I just want to find out who I am. Yes. Because like I said, I'm constantly growing in. Get yeah, influenced definitely. by other things, but I'm very monochrome based. And, I can see today yeah, you're supporting know, that well. Supporting mode. <laughs> Where can we purchase your garments? Uh, well, I'm not stocked. I've got I had, my previous line, I had done like a few bits of stock, but I want to keep it quite niche at the moment. So yeah. I'm just going to put it on my site. Okay. So mergelondon.com. Okay. Can so, we get in contact with you on social networks? Yeah, of course can. You? I'm always on social network. I'm always like replying to everyone. And, yeah. They got a question about it. We we'll talk about it. And okay, that's fine. So we'll have your details down on our page anyway. And then if anyone oh, wants to get in contact with you, they can just tweet you or give me a tweet. Yes, definitely. I'll tweet back. <laughs> so what advice do you give to our students actually? Because there's so many of us like myself. Yeah, no. I'm trying to get to the industry. What would you advise us to do? I, th I think in any industry that's I don't know has massive like looks like massive fortune and that there's going to be a lot of competition yeah like I know like if you want to be an actor you want to be a singer like it's everyone from kids it's dream isn't it yeah. like Absolutely. to do that but I just think I don't know just have an idea and I know along the way when you when you're just accessible like that there's a lot of critics and people will try and put you down Absolutely. but I think like them sort of things just listen to your heart and listen to yourself and just believe in yourself because yeah. if you want to just if your self-belief has to be there I think if you really want to do it you can do it so who's your favourite designer right now? Uh, who's my favourite designer? I like a lot of what Rick Owens is doing. Okay. With the collabs he's doing, he's got a good niche out there and yeah, I just think there's a lot. There's a lot there's a lot out there. Yeah. There's a lot. I, I just like I don't know, I just 
There's a lot of American brands that are that coming up, up, up and coming. There's a lot of streetwear brands. There's a lot of competition. So but, would you say streetwear is more of your thing? Yeah, I'm more streetwear. I'm more. I'm. I'm in that price range. But I like to think that you can mix the streetwear with high end. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? You can mix like a, a t-shirt yeah. with a pair of expensive trousers and What's get the away with it. What's the most expensive trousers you've ever bought? Ever bought? Uh, let me think. I don't know. I've, I've bought a pair of Dior trousers, what, a few hundred quid. Ooh. I know. And then they got too small for me a year later. <laughs> no so way! At the eBay. Oh my god. Yeah, so How much did you sell it for? I don't know. I've probably lost it then. I've sold it for like eight quid. Oh, shut up. No way. <laughs> Would so, you spend so a lot on the big shoes? Trainers. Trainers. I'm a big trainer yeah. fan. Like, I love my trainers. Do you get them custom made or? Um, I do. Not I, today. I get. I just. I try to look for the launches, really. Okay. Because then you just have. It's, I don't like having the same trainers as everyone. Okay. I like there's classics. Like I've got Air Force on. Yes. They're just classic They're trainers, classic, but yeah. you can get. Um, like just if you look out for like sneaker blogs and stuff, you can find out all the. Yeah. Which I like. I enjoy it. I enjoy like. I don't know. If people might think it's weird, a bit geeky, but I do actually enjoy it when the trainers come clean first to get it in. And Absolutely. Wearing yeah. them. And it's a man thing, I think, isn't it? I think, I think girls like bags, like don't they? Yes, definitely. I know they like the shoes, but boys yeah. love their trainers, their trainers and their snap bags. Yeah. How many pairs do you have of trainers all together? Probably about 150 pairs. Are you for real? But like, I try and I try and swap them around. Yeah. But I like the collectors. You have to collect wow. them as well. It's a collection, isn't it? Do yeah. you kind of like, like store them in a nice like in a? I try, know. but they don't fit. You have to put I have to put them in a box <laughs> and then try and put them away. Seriously. But when the ones that I'm wearing for that month or for that like they're in, I just I put them ones out. Yeah. And then say if another season comes, I will take them and put them. Wow. Oh, no, it's very geeky. Guys, well, thank you so Wicked. much for meeting with us. Thank we you really so appreciate much. your time. We know you're a very busy man. I try. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Tom. Thank and do you. check us out. Definitely. Last Box, University of West London. And thank you so much, guys. So, nice one. Take care. Hi, I'm Tom Kilby. You're watching Blast Box. Keep it blast.